Hello friends, welcome to Avi's Vlog. So today I'll be giving you the most important updates regarding the H1B lottery second round. So keep an eye to my entire vlog. Do not skip at all so that you will come to know what is your option and how they are processing for the US visa. We know the uh, H1B is the non-immigrant visa, right? And every year we get like certain amount of the people they pull out from the lottery but every time like last year we know they have pulled for the four round right because there was a covid and many thing was going on in the world and what is happening for the this year is many of the uscis employee they are also busy and uscis was like piling of the um, uh, application they got so they are not sure like they will be pulling for the second round or not but we was more, almost certain like they will be pulling for the second round of lottery and the stuffs so first round of lottery was happen from the first of march till 18th of march and when they pull up then they decide like okay let's take out some of the buffer amount so that we'll be able to cover the entire people right but still that's not enough so what they are doing now they plan to pull up the second round of lottery in month of august yes my friend so i'll be discussing with you what is your option you know on the first round of lottery many people has been selected but many people was not able to file for their h1b petition because you know at first we have to file for the h1b petition and then the after the winning for the lottery then what gonna ha happen like the usc is gonna be asking for the all the documents right whoever win the lottery and after that if you do not have any kinds of problem like rfe or kinds of thing then you will be able to book the visa interview and you will be going for the consulate for the uh, for the visa interview right but what happened is there are certain amount of the people who are already in united states because they are studying right like they came here for the student visa and then the opt was going to expire and they apply for the h1 b and their employer also agreed to file for the h1b right and for there many of the people like many of the resource what happened employer was not sure because the u.s economy was not doing good i'm not telling like u.s economy was really bad but there was like confusion was from the many of the consultancy firm and number of people was applied but they are, they got kinds of like the rfe and the rejection as well so make sure you do not get like the two common factor of the rfe this year one is for the specialty occupation we all know about the h1b specialty occupation if you did not uh, follow this my blog earlier then i urge you to go through my entire blog like entire playlist and see how the rfe was going on and many of my subscriber was telling like that they got another kinds of rfe this year that is a related to the inclined letter and this is very common as well my friend so make sure these two types of rfe you are handling very well so that you are not getting you means like your employer are not getting these two kinds of rfe as i told you one is the specialty occupation so that your employer need to show that you really need the h1b to come to this country and you have those qualification right you have the certain qualification you know the h1b is the specialty occupation and you have the particular uh, occupation right you have the job and you have the particular qualification for that means like you have a four years bachelor degree or relevant experience like five years or more experience and the second types of the thing is the you know is we call it like uh, end client letter how this is happening is many of the consultancy firm they are applying for this year and they does not have like the proper job they have kinds of a like sow with the end client but they do not have all sort of like the uh, like the certain amount of the time like the next three year project with 
actual employer right actual end client so example if you are coming let's say you got a job in Wipro right or you got a job in Tata consultancy service or you got a job in cognizant technology right but let's see your employer your end client is your employer is the Tata consultancy service cognizant or the Wipro but you have an end client like Bank of America right so your posting gotta be in the Charlotte just an example but in the Charlotte office uh, Bank of America was telling like okay we need the resource give me the resource okay but we do not know how long we gonna be needing that particular person means maybe for one year maybe for six months or maybe for three years but your employer is actually asking for the three-year visa right but the end uh, client does not give you the uh, does not give the SOW for three years in that case they ask like the USCIS is asking for the end client letter where is gonna be describing all the details about your passport number your details everything and on top of that what gonna be your job description what gonna be you gonna be doing in the day-to-day -day basis if you are let's see an automation engineer or if you are a developer or you are a project manager anything can be happening but your name should be there on the actual letterhead from the end client letter that was the missing so USCIS was asking tons of RFE about that and the second reason they are asking for the RFE because USCIS was very busy to process all the uh, like application on time so they are actually buying the time so instead of like processing within couple of days because they do not have time they are asking for the RFE so that you will be busy or your employer will be busy to process all the documents and then the actual number ca came right actual number has a shortfall we know about that this is going to be happening my friend you are not alone to predict or your employer is not that alone to predict these kinds of uh, mathematics or the database we know every year data and we know the last year data we know last five years data so I have analyzed all the last seven years data to see how many H1B they normally pull and how many time they go for the second round of interview second round of lottery and this is the thing is happening for the this year as well so they're supposed to pull the second round of uh, lottery on the month of July but as per the news we came to know is going to be in the august right so stay tuned and make sure you uh, get all the notification from your employer that if your lottery has been picked right you are able to submit all the document to your employer so that you are not missing anything so keep an eye to my uh, uh, channel like YouTube channel as I told uh, via the USA is my YouTube channel so if you subscribe and continuously put your support like the comments or share my vlog then you will be able to be a premium uh, subscriber to me and you will be able to talk to me so if you like my vlog today please subscribe and like comment and share thanks a lot god bless america